Hello Kincaid viewers and welcome back to Bahamian Creole 101. Today, we are going to talk about words and phrases. But I got against Corona. I got Bacardi. Bacardi killed the virus. Oh. In part four, we are going to talk about all of the little one-liners and just words that ring true through our culture and just bring and give us all sorts of life. So, allow me to greet you. What's going on is the first thing we would say to you. And basically, what is what's going on mean? What is going on? Quite obvious, right? I go. How's it going? Understand? This is a popular one, boy. So, boy, first of all, what is it? It's just a universal term for addressing another person. Usually, the equivalent to it is dude or the N word, nigga. Just another way of saying, boy, we saying, or ya yeah, boy, that's a greeting. And there are two ways to spell it. B-E-Y or B-U-I. I tend to spell it B-U-I because, because I am a Beyonce fan. Bay and Bay can become too mixed up and confusing. So I just choose Bay. But Bay, what are you saying? Now this is a word I wanted to include because the confusion in American culture. So you, we all know the very popular song, Knock If You Buck. Growing up in the Bahamas, Bahamian Creole, buck means to knock something. I believe in American culture, knock if you buck means like you're getting ready to act up. But actual buck means to hurt someone or to hit somebody. Like I could buck you in your head, meaning I'm going to knock you in your head. And it's not listed here, but another word is burst, B-U-R-S-T, but we leave off the T. I got burst you in your head with a bottle. I got burst you in your head with a rock. You know, very violent, but you know, that's how we speak back home. Now, ASU, we say ASU in the Bahamas. Here in the States and many other um, cultures, they say SUSU. And an ASU is when a group of people come together, let's say, 10 people contribute $100. So every week, that collection of $1,000 is put forth and each person in the group will collect that $1,000, a different person. So the first person will collect $1,000. So every week, a person is giving $100. So collectively, $1,000. And the A suit doesn't end until every person, all 10 of those people collect $1,000. So, but here's the downside. You have to do it with somebody you trust and you have to do it with an honest person because if the money ain't get paid and somebody collect their $1,000 and then disappear, that's a problem. Somebody could get bites in the head. Pot cake. We call stray dogs pot cakes. Simple. Current for electricity. And we sometimes have issues with that. Man, ain't my current off. Yes, current is electricity. Tingham. We use this as a substitute for a name or a thing. Man, Tingham over there. Pass me Tingham. Yeah, man, you know, Tingham, Tingham. When the word won't come to your head quick enough, you just say Tingham. Biggity. Now, biggity is a word that's usually referred to a female, but men can be biggity too. And biggity just means bold and bossy with a little bit of sass. Uh, when you have a little bit of attitude or you're just, you know, sassy, man, are you biggity.
Frenzy. Y'all too frenzy. <laughs> that is a word when you're just too cordial with everybody. Like everybody you meet, you have to be so kind. And there's nothing wrong with being manly, but you're just too frenzy. Like you just get chummy with everybody. Everybody's your friend. So you man, you too frenzy. You don't know, like, not everybody that you meet is not supposed to be your closest acquaintance. Sip, sip. Sip, sip is just another term for gossip. So for those of you who like to run your mouth and talk people business, too much sip, sip going on. Mashup. And mashup is just a term to say to destroy. Man, hey, your car mash up, your hair could get mash up if you don't behave. <laughs> I mean, lots of violence, but again, that's quite appropriate. <laughs> so jam up is having a lack of space, but we also use it to describe a person as well. A very short and stocky person. Man, hey, look at this one over there with a jam up body. Again, a little bit rude, but here again, that's the culture. Man, hurry turn, man. There you go. <laughs> now this one is very personal to me because this is one I used to get teased about in school all the time. Why you so high up? <laughs> and high up means wearing your clothing higher than usual above your waist. So I have a high waist, so I used to wear my pants on my waist. I never used to wear my pants dropping down. So they used to say, hey, chat, why are your pants always so high up? It is what it is. Everything straight. Another way of asking, is everything okay? Now I'll tell you a little story about this. This can be quite an issue because when dealing with Americans, you have to be, you know, very sensitive with your words. And there was an, itch, um, an issue in our hotel where a Bahamian shouted out to a guest who was American and said, hey, everything straight? Are you straight? So you can only imagine the Bahamian meant it as, is everything okay? The guest took it as, is you're questioning my sexuality. And that became an issue. And I believe, I would love to say the man didn't get fired, but you never know. Hoity-toity. Hoity-toity is a way of describing somebody of high society or somebody who's bougie. Oh yeah, look at that one over there with her Louis Vuitton and her driving a car she's from. A legacy family, yeah, she's a hoity-toity woman. Yeah. A bush mechanic, be right on it. Bush mechanic, a bush mechanic is a freelancing person who fixes cars. So where you would go into the Nissan or Toyota dealership, have a nice Layout, you get your coffee, you go through the whole corporate setting, have your secretary and pay a thousand dollars for an oil change and a, a tune up. A bush mechanic will do the same thing for you for sixty dollars and all you gotta buy him is one chicken snack. Well Marasik. And remember, as I told you in the last episode, vel, which is well, so the V and the W are interchangeable. So vel marasik is another way of saying, holy shit. A man just get knocked down by a car. Vel marasik. You too disgusting. This refers to having a lack of manners. You don't know how to behave in front of people. Your attitude is stink and disgusting. You too disgusting. And the final word and phrase of this episode is vibe. 
W Y B E Y. And Y is a versatile word. It's very flexible to, to describe any sort of situation, idea, or scene. Let me describe this for you. Hmm. Oh, perfect example. Your father had a whole other different family on the side while being with your mother. Wait, that's a why. Another one. Y'all here, all at Marathon, giving out free clothes. Wait, that's a why. And lastly, the woman who you thought was your girlfriend had a whole other boyfriend, which is basically like the first one. Boy, that's a vibe. Ken K viewers, thank you for making it this far with me. We have one more episode to go. Fun, fun, fun. So until next time, take care and see you back for episode number five, Slackness, the final part in this series. <laughs>